Hello and welcome to Today in Film. I nearly forgot what I was going to say then. Uh, <laughs> episode 13. I just said that as well. I've forgotten already. Honestly, it's going well. Big start. <laughs> today, so far, so good. Today, we are going to briefly review <laughs> Blues Brothers 2000, released in 1998. The, the new release by... <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then we're going to talk about something actually interesting. Yes. yes. <laughs> Today with me. Oh no! Wait. Did I say I'm your host? Not yet. You didn't know. Who are you? I'm your, yeah. I'm your host. <laughs> Who are you? I'm scared. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm. I'm. Put, oh, you throw me off. Yeah. I'm, Good. I, I, the conversation before. I'm still lingering on that one. <laughs> right. I'm your host, sorry, Perry. And with me today are Greg Toby and Harry Gibbons. And insert the AI bot here. <laughs> just a, just a, a really like droning hello comes over like not planned. <laughs> so, so who wants to go first on discussing why they love this film? Uh, Dan Aykroyd, maybe. <laughs> with his uh, skullhead vodka. Literally, yeah. oh, that's about it, honestly. Uh, Greg, that's about it. Yeah. Um. In all honesty, this this isn't good. This is a film that it basically takes all the magic of the original and basically kicks it out of the window. Really, <laughs> um, it, it's too long uh, by about two hours. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, no, no, take... just no. Dan, uh... this is an intervention. <laughs> you need yeah. help. Dan, Greg, we need to sit down. It's just Bill Murray and like, um, all the others, Ernie Hudson. <laughs> the others. Yeah. Yeah, um... those, those are chaps. I forget his name. Yeah, uh, Harold Ramis, you know. Harold, yeah. Yeah, that one there. He we good. remember people. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, you are very much right. It's it's very long, um, lo- like for what it is. It it genuinely feels like SNL shorts, like mixed together of like what we did this week with the Blues Brothers, but not in an entertaining, fun way. Like just in a sort of I wouldn't pay to watch this sort of way. No, it's just, it's loads of ideas thrown together. <sighs> Bad ideas. Bad thrown ideas. Together. Yeah, definitely. Mm. It's like, what if the Blues Brothers were possessed? And then uh, s- stuff, just just everything. There's like flying things in the sky, and there's like a storm, and the the cars remote control. Because why not? The first and one's the like a, a musical love letter, and to, and it's like you know, it's got like the soul. It's quite, yeah. it's quite grounded. There's like funny mm. bits, but it's quite grounded. It's not like stupid. Like there's not like a lot of um, you know. Uh, almost cartoonish sort of vibes to it, uh, but this one is just, yeah, it felt straight to DVD. Mm, it was yeah. too much like a parody. Oh yeah, I do have to say it was shot really nicely. Like the opening, especially, it was like, you know, sort of like the coming out of prison bits. That was that but, was well shot. But does that make it a good film? Or a watch <laughs> In fact, film? definitely not. No. <laughs> If you just watch the first like minute, you know it's Class. quite a good film. Really enjoyed it. Ten out of ten. IGN mm. would watch the first bit again. The first fifteen seconds, and then yeah. mm. makes you really feel like you're a blues brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god! Oh, it really what? does. It really makes you feel like you're a blues brother. It made me feel blue. That's what. Mm. Together. Dabba dee dabba die. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't even know what to say about this film. I don't uh, want to. Just... Yeah. It was just, mm. I mean, to trash it, it would be kind of, you know, it's rough because it's an in memoriam somehow to, to two, three, like, three greats. Um, to three people. That's... Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. Oh, maybe that's it. They had to make it three times as bad. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Mm. So there's no excuses to watch it again. I mean, to think that almost $30 million was spent on this, though. Somehow. I wonder how much the, the talent, you know, of obviously like the other... I mean, John Goodman and stuff would have been quite John, expensive. John at Goodman point. at that point, because of um, Flintstones. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure that came yeah, out around that time. So What year was the Big Lebowski? Was... That was I think uh, it's the same year. Yeah. Very like yeah. it was a big Hollywood not... sort of Yeah, he was coming into his own like a lot start. of Cohen Brothers stuff, wasn't it? At that time. Mm. Um it, it's not good, is it? No. And I, I really wonder how much people like Aretha Franklin got paid and stuff like that. It would have been kind of like you know, if it's a memorial thing, you'd expect, you know. Ah, oh, it's tough. I don't want to... Obviously, without knowing, it's quite hard to suggest but and surmise. It is still a very bad Objectively, film. just... Obje- yeah, just objectively bad. Mm. I wouldn't... He, I mean, would you say it's so bad it's good, though? No, that's no. the that's the sad part. Like, I didn't... You know, mm. you can laugh at it, but then it's sort of it's yeah. like laughing at it in a sad way. Not like a Sharknado. This is kind of funny. Yeah, you way. sort of pity it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's it. Especially if they like, miss jokes and stuff like that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously not exactly... Well, it's... Wow, I've just realised this is the 13th episode, and uh, we really wow, have hit an it, unlucky dud there, it. haven't we? Wow, it's like... It's almost like coincidence. I think not. I think not. Yeah, it's almost like someone noticed that before we started recording. That's weird, isn't it? Like it's just hit me. Mm. um, I mean, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought we did thirteen episodes? (laughs) It has. Yeah, honestly. Oh my god. But um, going anyway. But anyway, to fill you in, before we started recording, which we should have done about half an hour ago, <laughs> uh, although I forgot to click record, we were talking about high concept films and the fact yeah. that high concept means absolute fuck all. Yeah. Mm. So in every way. Our idea now is uh, we're going to do a series of Jurassic Park inspired <laughs> historical dramas <laughs> where instead of a dinosaur being brought back, it's a person. Yeah, obviously, that's one, mm. how, how it is. But they've all got, like, you know, life finds a way defects. Like, they bring oh, back yeah. um, Elton John, who isn't dead yet, which is weird. Um, and <laughs> they bring back Elton John. <laughs> but they use frogs, so he switches gender and just keeps multiplying into other smaller Elton Johns. Mm. But they, like, weirdly all, like, take clothes from his, like, obviously vast wardrobe collection. So it is, like, just, like, screenshots from Starman. Or Rocket mm. Man, sorry, they, not they look like the minions. Oh. Yeah, they look like the minions from um, critically acclaimed Academy Award winning uh, Despicable Me. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, minions Despicable movie Me franchise. And pretend they weren't from Despicable Me. <laughs> Just, no, exactly. I only know them from the Minion movie. To explain this away, you you had the choice of any person yeah. who has died and you chose someone who's still alive. Is alive. <laughs> and Frank, yeah. That's the joke. <laughs> that is it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to go into the uh, mosquito from uh, 1940s Germany. Yes. So yeah, there's a there's, that's an idea we've there's had probably some complications with that one. Mm. You know, ethical and moral dilemmas. Yeah, well, I think <laughs> there, may, there may be a few lines that will be crossed there. <laughs> yeah, just you know, there might, might be. Hmm. Oh my. Oh, I think. I don't know well, who would be who would like. Okay, say it's like sort of a future where we genuinely had to think of all the problems like that it could possibly cause. Who do you think would actually be like a valid and contributing member who hasn't like recently died? Like they'd have to be gone a while, but you think could you know chill in twenty twenty just sort of vibe. Mm. Florence Nightingale would have a job, wouldn't she? To be fair, I'm on the NHS and all that. Like mm. that would be the saddest movie ever. Bring back Florence Nightingale and she just becomes a doctor. That's uh, the entire film. Just That's it. Yeah. You could go travel the world. High concept. <laughs> High concept. That's what we mm. love here. It's like the Truman Show, right? But yeah. it's in, it's set in real life. I'd probably bring back Da Vinci or Tesla just because... And like, I'd give them a, a good yeah. couple of years mm. to like learn the things that they should have probably caught up on. Yeah. Bring back the... Tesla back would probably like, fit in quite well. Yeah, bring back the death ray. The mm. death ray. I don't know. I was going to say ray about Charles. the death ray. And then yeah. I decided to say about the Beatles instead, because 
<laughs> just pick one Why of his not? many. Isn't this that is just yesterday, resource. though? You know? No, but yes. <laughs> yeah. I just... Oh. No, but yesterday. Um, all my troubles. All my uh, troubles. Yeah. Seems so far <laughs> away. No, it, to be fair, no, that is so such a high concept, hit. isn't it? That's one that we could have thought of. I always fancied doing it. Did you, ever, did you ever, like, as a kid or as an adult or as a, as an elderly people, which we three are, uh, did yeah. you ever get those oh. dreams where you're like, you'd like, oh, imagine if I could steal that song and, like, go back and, like, you know, if I go back in time, I'd just write a couple of, like, songs that I know are popular now and, like, you know, produce them and all that. You ever get that thought when you were younger? No. I had a dream like that once, but it sort of yeah. devolved in a way which basically I got, I was, I was stuck there eventually. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Like all of a sudden my time, my time machine in this dream just didn't work anymore. And I was just like, wow. oh God, here I am with, you know, the whole, like, I don't know which artist songs I was bringing back. All of the white album, but it's like 1846. Yeah, that it was <laughs> something like that. It was Beatles, but like in the 30s, I think. <laughs> oh, that was good. I mean, see, I used to have dreams like that, like all, all a lot, like a lot. Mm. And it would be about like any sort of new song that came out. I was, like, I was like, imagine writing this. You'd get like so much, you know, money, success and fame and stuff. Like that, and it'd be so easy because you'd literally have to do nothing. Uh, and then yesterday came out, and I was like, hmm. So basically, hmm. they just did it about like the most famous ones out there. And they, I feel like they missed a trick. They could have like done. It's Danny Boyle, though, wasn't it? Was it Danny Boyle? Yeah, Danny yeah, Boyle. But... Yeah, I was going to say, if it was like more high concept, they'd do it in like to, to do with like time and all that. The film was written by a guy. I think he was in his 60s or something. Right. He sold it, found out Danny Boyle was interested, and he was like, oh my God. And, um, uh, who's the other guy involved? Uh, Richard Curtis. Oh, oh, Richard Curtis, yeah. Um, Richard found out there, wanted, like, one of them basically was like, I want to have the writing credit. And so... Curtis? Yeah, I think it was. But they they ta- they, you know, they took it, edited it, like, yeah. a bit. And the guy got, like, I think it was like he got, like, story by or something like that. Oh, yeah. that's I'd take story by, wouldn't you? <laughs> like, it's still, that basically means wrote it like i know mm. but it was like at this point you have just like you've been doing right and apparently supposedly all your life you sell off your first ever movie like to a big thing and the person the big name who's attached to it wants the credit oh, it's, it's like, like I mean, it's at least you're part of the opening credits I know, but it's like if you wrote a high concept film and then Christopher <laughs> Nolan says, I'm interested. Yeah. And then he says, but I want every credit. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, mm, like, including uh, all the acting credits. It's like, yeah. that's like selling yourself for fame, then, isn't it? It's like, what? Do, you know, like, where do, where do you draw the line? No. Bro, yeah. I mean, I actually wrote The Dark Knight, so uh, it's calm, you yeah. know? Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, congrats. He doesn't, it, me and Chris don't like to talk about it, you know, but yeah. Mm. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> what, like, that's weird. You know how they're like Nolan's, like, Batman trilogy? And it's, like, very branded as Nolan, even though, like, most of the sort of story beats and storylines and characters were written by, like, Morrison and people back, even, like, developed more since then. Do you know what I mean? Like, Dom is obviously. Yeah. Resident Comics. I feel like it's a bit like snaky going. That's like me going like if I made one Batman movie, I wouldn't call it like my Batman. It's like a um, well, it's a bit like the you know, it's a bit like the Todd Phillips Joker thing. Yeah, like it's not Joker. Don't you it's, it's not driver. That is <laughs> yeah. really a, but basically it's, it, yeah. yeah, to say it's Joker is. Is basically just to lie to yourself. Yeah. Because mm. it's as, it's probably as far from Joker as you can get. It's a Joker esque story. It's a story like, yeah. I, I, you know, like those sort of very pretty graphic novels where they like, I imagine they take ages, not just like you sort of. Yeah. Like, I yeah. imagine Joker would be one of those and it'd be called like Joker, but it wouldn't feature like the Clown Prince of Crime. It'd be like, you know, like a guy who was down on his luck like that. It really feels the, like one of those mm. compared to. Even then, it's like um, Joker. He's just 
it's nothing. It's it, like I've said this multiple times to other people. Like that film, I would have no problem with that film if it was just about some like person with mental illness. Uh, but the fact you attached the Joker name to it, you're not a big fan. It's a bit like you're trying to name something that it isn't. Yeah, I mean, luckily they do. Thankfully, they do touch on stuff like the Waynes and you know the sort of those sort of relationships. But, but that feels like it's shoehorned in. Yeah, a lot of that stuff. I mean, yeah, they did give him too much of actually like. Well, I mean, I mean uh, they sort of took it away. Spoiler alert with the adoption thing. Like they did sort of take Murray, no, Murray Franklin is like the guy who in the same joke. Was... No, in uh, Joker. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like he's just, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Like, yeah, didn't need. Like, I mean, if it had been Thomas Wayne, then it makes sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. But you brought in another character. It was like it was almost like it needed to fill screen time. <laughs> they just it is that scene from um, Dark Knight Returns, basically, just where he like gasses out the whole of the. Um... Oh yeah. But mm. it's, not it's that, good. but like stretched to be like the the final third act, like you know climax. It's a bit interesting. No, I didn't even realize that. I hadn't even thought about that until you just said that. But mm. yeah, because, but mainly because Dark Knight Returns does it way better. Yeah, I mean it's in both just... in both the comic and the animated movie they True. did of it. So the yeah, Nolan's Nolan's Batman, as they say, it's. It's not no one. It's not known as Batman because he doesn't do anything original, really. No, it's just a. It's just a movie about Batman. It's just a realist take on Batman. I think like that's what it's, it like, is. it's like. What if Batman was in you know one of us? Yeah, but it's, it's not like that, really, is it? I don't know. It's very. Still. It's quite real. I don't think there's mu- there's not much like magic. There's not much, you know, comic book actual but, like, superpower and all that. Um, what is it? Batman nineteen eighty nine. That's pretty. The button. Based. Yeah. yeah, but then That's it's all very, but it's a lot more style. Actually, you could argue that Nolan's one is yeah. stylized as well, but he has just that yeah, like, crisp and clinical so. stylized, rather than like Burton's Capes and Cows. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, Prince play, being played in every scene, <laughs> literally, and then like Seal Kiss from a Rose just on like the soundtrack. Like, what Ooh. is? <laughs> Because it's it's nineteen eighty nine. At least it's not the nineties Batman films. At least, like you know, I mean, that would have been bad. Batman I mean, Forever. I have not watched that one. Is that the Val the... Kilmer one? Yeah, I think that's the Val uh, Kilmer. Yeah, Val that's Kilmer. Cool. Yeah. I used to like Val Kilmer as Batman when I grew up. Like that was like the obviously because it was before the Nolan ones, and that that was that was the Batman for me. I wasn't a big fan mm. of George Clooney's one. I didn't quite understand. Did you like also not quite understand how it was like they came out very quickly from each other within like you know f- sort of not maybe five years, and there was just like a couple of different Batman. I mean, oh yeah, like, it was because you know... it, it was meant to be like the Burton universe, wasn't it? Yeah, like Superman, and then it kind of fell through. It's weird, I don't, obviously, it? I don't know what happened with that, but like that would be. I feel like had we got him. Just doing. If he was allowed to, series, yeah, it could have been the greatest, probably Batman series and just DC series we've had. I would, I was, I'd have been so interested to see who he'd have done for like Wonder Woman, how they'd have done the Flash, because obviously they'd mm. get to the Justice League eventually. Yeah, the Flash yeah. would yeah. have been so interesting to see. Burton's the Flash. You start off with uh, Batman, Superman. Yeah, always. Then- you should go to Wonder Woman. Unless you're the DCEU. Yep. That worries. So we've got. And you start got with Superman. Superman. Yeah. Then we have the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Because we have a hero, but somehow we have like a hundred bazillion villains. And then we have what seems to be a Batman film, but it's, it's also Batman. a Superman film. I don't worry, it's it's mostly too much a Superman, Superman film. Don't worry. Though. After only two appearances, we kill Superman. Yeah. Oh, because because that's what the fans want. They want that big. Yeah. They want their end game. Hang on, you're a film in like chill. <laughs> well, they and want then, a civil war. Worry, well, they had this civil war like as the second film. Yeah. So all right, right. Then then 
we bring Superman back. Right. With CGI and, and CDI out uh, mustache. Yep. And it goes it goes tits up from before it even began, pretty much. But have you guys seen Birds of Prey? I have and Not I yet. can't I can't really I can't, remember it. <laughs> I can't remember it really either. It was a bit it was a bit shit. It was, it was it, Deadpool it was like, Captain Jack the film. Oh yeah. Uh, it was like a I like this. And then I was like Yeah. But I don't need to watch this. It's like a That's so true. Like it wasn't no bad. It was like an enjoyable film. But you like when you're watching it, you're like, Why am I watching this? There's like there's no you know, I mean, as much as you can sort of complain about how these films are almost events now, like, you know, when you look at like Endgame, Infinity War, mm. you're like, obviously I'm watching a film, but I'm also waiting to see what happens next in this saga for our heroes. Like I mean, nothing what, happens yeah. to them. That's what became of, of the Pirates oh of the God. Caribbean movies. Yeah. You know, yeah. the first three, absolute masterpieces, but then you get to the fourth one, it's just like, Let me talk about the fifth steam. One. Yeah, the, oh, the fifth one. God. Ooh, don't remind me. Birds of Prey, to put it in comic terminology, is a filler issue, essentially, isn't it? Yeah. It's a team of people that you don't really care that much about. Yeah, it's it's a one shot. Yeah. Oh my god, it's just such a, like... We didn't need the series. They ruined Cassandra Cain. Oh god, that was awful. That made me... The only one I actually sort of liked was... um, Huntress, all right. Quite like Huntress. Huntress was, I don't know. Huntress was like her portrayal was kind of weird, though. Yeah, she was like trying to be. Barely in. It was like she was. Yeah, that's so true. She was in all of the marketing, and she's in for like five minutes. What's the officer called? Is it um? Renee Montoya. Yeah, Renee Montoya. Yeah, she was good. I like I like the the sort of portrayal because we don't get enough like you know Gotham Gotham PD sort of. No. Um. Uh. Who else? It's so Black, forgettable. Black Canary. Black Canary was okay, but it was like it was yeah. so far from her character. It was a bit yeah, like she didn't know, really use her powers that often either. They, like she, used it, she used it once. I'm there were so sure. little powers in that film. It was like the least superhero superhero film I think I've ever watched. Which I get it, but you have Black Canary. Yeah, you literally. Like this isn't like um, I don't know. You've got this character and they're trying to use their abilities but they're not quite sure how to use them yet. Yeah. No, this is the person who clearly knows how to use them. There's about as much superpowers in that as there is in the boys. Like Yeah. And obviously when the you think about the budget. When the boys does it, the boys does it very well usually. Extremely well. The boys yeah. has an impact. So, yeah, they yeah, somehow managed to it. have like like set pieces like like the plane, for example. You'd oh, expect that. that in a Hollywood mm. film. Yeah. And it's like in literally just like a straight to streaming service, which is mental. It's not even like on HBO or anything like that. It's like a straight to uh, streaming service original, like which is you know, sort of. Oh crazy. no! Do you know what I just remembered? Right. So the so I don't know. Just to, to explain, right? Black Canary. So Dinah Lance. Yeah. Uh, is the daughter of the original Black Canary, who was part of the JSA. Yes. And uh, in Birds of Prey, and and the Harley Quinn thing. Which is not a Birds of Prey film. Don't know why they're called that. Emancipation of Harley Quinn. Yep, but it's um, a Harley Quinn film, isn't it? Really, yeah. it is. They had they renamed it Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey, didn't they? Like, oh, I did. I watched early. it so early. Like I was just, I wasn't excited yeah. about it that much. I was just, like, I wasn't even. I was like, I'll go and see it because you know why not? Yeah. But like it's Canary, at the end, yeah. yeah. At the end, they announce, they say, because Renee Montoya says out oh, the scream about like Black Canary's mother being like a police officer or something. So why is Black Canary working with like the biggest like the mobs? Movie? Yeah, literally Black Mask and uh... like if they'd done it like oh she's an undercover agent, good enough. Still a yeah. really crappy explanation, but at least she's not just like yeah I'm a pretty shitty person. Was he meant to be mm. Zaz by the way? Yeah, he was not Zaz. Oh. He had Benny. He looked like either this famous oh. version of Zaz or. It wasn't Zaz. I like Ewan McGregor, but I don't even think he was very good as Black Mask. He was very good as the villain in the film. He, is, yeah, he, for me, he, he was wasn't Black Mask. Monster, like. he, he, oh, it could have been the Riddler. It could have been anyone else. Like, and I think Ewan McGregor could have pulled it off. Like, Just give us an actual hero that like isn't just... If you're doing Black Mask, you do Black Mask in like an Under the Red Hood film or something like that. 
you don't like do in he to be it's the kind of character that needs to be handled properly you know you throw in your falcons your everyone you do like oh, yeah. that's what you do you don't you, do, you have him in like a big mob story about like gotham being sort of taken over he's the, like the main bad guy also no powers again yeah, i love like, I, I love the fact that they kill him off as well it's like yeah wow you you had a decent actor you did a very you, very good performance and it's just ugh. weird performance granted yeah. very strange good though yeah very good Oh man! I mean, right. The biggest problem with this, uh, well, I say it's not the biggest problem, but I just like saying that. Um, <laughs> if you have no story, but the fact that uh, Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad, sorry, yeah, has Harley Quinn in, and we know it's set um, after this. Yeah. So why did I need any of this? Uh, but Birds of Prey. Like, Honestly, it sets up nothing. It is nothing. Nothing happened. You won't watch the Suicide Squad and you were like, oh, oh, she's quite sad in this because this happened in the last one. Like, none of that. It was like... What happened in the last one? She has no character progression at all. There's some diamond, isn't there? There's a diamond. That's it. It's There's, uh, there's a... It's the MacGuffin. There's a MacGuffin, yeah. Um, yeah. They have... So Cassandra Cain, if you didn't know in the comics, she's the daughter of, uh, I think it's Lady Shiva, who is basically meant to be the deadliest warrior in DC Comics, right? Yeah. And she is a mute, so she didn't talk, if you didn't know that, yeah. And she basically becomes the superhero, well, I say superhero, vigilante called Orphan, who is a member of the Bat family. She, but she does become Batgirl at some point. Yeah. yeah. Changes up. But basically, she's a badass. She's not some little street punk. She's a little street punk. Does nothing. Sort of like... It's like... Oh, God. I don't understand the film. Imagine if they redid Batman in that way. Literally, it's just, oh, my God. He's not like the rich kid who like has to learn his way. He's just like a street punk. He's a little urchin. Literally, he's like the tech wizard Spider-Man of... Oh, Mm. God. Uh, Oliver name Twist style, Hello. whatever. Yeah, honestly, it's just, oh man, I pr- I pray for the. I mean, James Gunn's one's obviously going to be sick. Like, I, I have no doubt it's mm. going to be class. I'm, the only worry I have about that one is if we hear an if we hear the um, rating and it doesn't, it isn't a fifteen or an eighteen. Like, oh, how is he going to do it? Because yeah. I feel like for this, because it needs to be like super more like. If you've seen Super, yeah, Super, definitely. It's, you know, it's sweary, it's gory. I just, I don't like, think they can. I mean, hiring Peter Capaldi is a good sign because maybe it will be. Yeah, you could um, get full Malcolm Tucker. Yeah, the oh thick God, of it, that, lovely. Like, that's the thing. It's like people are like, "Oh, did you see him in Doctor Who?" And it's like, you do realize he did a show where he swore in. He swore the most in every episode because that would make yeah, sense, almost every it? line. Yeah, he literally. I mean, that I'm watching that at the moment, and it's just, it's an incredible performance. Well, I was watching Skins as well, like at the moment, and I realised he was like one of the main characters' dads, and he just comes out of oh, nowhere. God. Oh man! It's not, it's not even like announced. It's just like one of. The, I think it's like four or five episodes in. You just like you get like a parent to teacher sort of like talk, and it shows the mom, and it just pans across, and it's like Peter Capaldi's the dad. And it was like I think it was like mm. 2007 or oh something. My- God, and he, he looks... swears a lot and Brilliant. You know, funny. Yeah, I just ah, oh, I'm worried. Yeah, Dom, I think it could. There's a high chance it could be like a 12A, but I, you know, yeah, it... he can he can make very good like 12As though, like when you look at Guardians and stuff like that. But it's a different source oh. material. It's like this is meant to be a bit harder than Guardians. It, yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's Suicide Squad. People get their heads blown off. Yeah, like it's only cut water down. In the other one, yeah. Oh yeah. god, Slipknot, the character Slipknot. everyone cares about. Everyone saw it, like in when he was on the. Do you remember the like announcement photo of the Suicide Squad? And everyone's like, hmm, yeah. Slipknot, man with ropes. Yep, kind of. Do you know what the best part is, though, right? So, in um, I said this before when we were talking about it, but a while back, you know, whenever uh, when I tried to watch it and it got about twenty minutes in, but in the first bit where they explain all the characters, they don't explain Slipknot. Yeah, he just he's just like they get to the team bit where they're all like suiting up and it's Slipknot there. It's like, well, he I just guess joins he, them, doesn't he? At the last minute, yeah, it's like 
all right, okay. Yeah, cool. He's, he's going to die. Add, adds the disposable character. That sounds like something. Maybe they just literally didn't write it. Like, the, the whole draft like wasn't written with a character that actually gets their head blown up. And then the like someone who was like you know oh, checking yeah, over the script was sort of like, hang on, you've like Chekhov's gun people here, and there's a bomb in everyone's head, and you don't ever get to see it. I feel it won't. Right? Have you seen? I don't know if you would have, but um, there's there's an animated movie. Uh, it's Suicide Squad: Escape from Arkham. I think it is. I've heard of it, but I haven't actually seen yeah, that. But in that, right? To spoil the start, it, yeah. yeah, it's not really spoiled, but um. Basically, there is a character called KG Beast who is. Yeah, I know KG Beast. He was in Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. Sort also, of. I think he was in Harley Quinn TV show as well, but like, he's a. He's a notable. He's a more notable character. Yeah. And he, you know, he's a very tough guy kind of character. He goes against them, steps out, and gets his head blown off. Sick. Like, yeah. You know? Okay, yeah. Little. But then. You get this guy, Fucking... Slipknot, who is yeah. literally the most pointless character. I mean, like, literally like named basically yeah. just like a rock band. You just get actual Slipknot. Just uh, mm. it's Why it's tragic. Would you watch this film? Have you seen it I, fully before? Have you ever watched it fully through? I watched it fully uh, a while back. Yeah, I mean, it's such a weird one. It's like one of them that I like. I feel like if I watched it on my own and didn't hear about any of like behind the scenes or anything, I probably would have enjoyed it. And then when you just notice oh like how good it could have been, then when you look at like what like it's been in the comics and stuff, and you're just like, ah. Right, Suicide Squad, so the James Gunn film. Yeah. On Wikipedia, uh, bear in mind Wikipedia is not official as it's like anyone can edit it really. Yes. It has Steve. It has a uh, Steve Agee. As the Ooh. voice of King Shark, even though that has been confirmed apparently uh, by James Gunn to not be true. Interesting. I saw something that there is King Shark's going to be in it, but I don't know. Yeah, what I think I saw some, there's like set leaks where there was like a guy wearing like a big yeah, sort Steve, of motion capture rig. Yeah, Steve Agee, that's the guy that, and then people thought so uh, he is- instantly assumed. It was oh, King so maybe Shark. it's going to be someone else, or maybe he's just lying to keep the sort of. I think yeah, but then it's like it's such a lie. It's like he wouldn't even he wouldn't need to even address it really. Yeah, I don't know why he did. It's oh, kind of no. weird. But the thing is, there are other characters like uh, Orca, or maybe even maybe even Killer Croc. I was thinking that as well, Killer Croc again. Killer Croc is so underused in Suicide Squad as well. Oh my I God. can't believe right? I can't believe the fact that the guy. It was makeup, firstly. Oh, he won an Oscar, didn't it? Yeah, it's incredible makeup. When you realise that's makeup, they deserve the Oscar. Yeah, oh, absolutely. However, when you realise the guy is British, it's like, really? Yeah. Like, they got some British guy to do this, not just some, like, generic wrestler. Stunt actor. They should have just got a stunt actor, like, really. But I just... Oh, man. Yeah, but... Like they've got, um, it's like having Vin Diesel as group. To be honest, is that why? Mm. Oh, my. The, I mean, at least he put in the hours to do the like. He really night. did, didn't he? Oh no! Oh the no! The guy who did Legend of Tarzan wrote this film. <gasps> wait, wrote Suicide Squad. Wait, yeah. Oh, um, wait. Sorry, written by James Gunn. Okay. Then, if you look at the development, it says that he was Legend hired. of Tarzan was boring as hell. Yeah, it was. It had some good action set pieces, yeah. but they were boring action set pieces. Yeah. So, the Silver Age Suicide Squad, if you didn't know, it's basically just a bunch of soldiers. Right, that's what makes sense. It's pretty, like, Suicide Squad didn't become really important until it became like the big villains yeah it's clever though it's very clever yeah it's a good idea is there any other films coming out Dom any like what's on the horizon what have we got I haven't checked obviously it's been so long and then cinemas are sort of reopening again Mm, I've forgotten what it's like in a cinema (laughs) 
Yeah, I literally. I saw bad? someone went to it the other day, and I was like, I still feel weird that people can go to the cinema. Mm. Uh, what we got then? Oh right, yeah, Upper Films. Let me just search that. I forgot what we're doing then. Oh no, it's gone. I'm okay. just like, because obviously Tenet's August 26th oh. to, car- to date this video. It's currently 1943 when we're recording this. Um, what? So yeah, like... we're currently getting the, um, the, that uh, mosquito sap. Yeah, we're just grabbing we? that mosquito. Yeah. Like, we're planting it there, so it's like, you know, ready for, oh, yeah. ready the for new... 45. The New Mutants. Oh, you... that film. Yeah, 2015's The New Mutants. Do you see the clip they released the other day? Mm, oh, I think I saw it. I saw it in the background of a YouTube video I watched. Yeah, I, I saw. saw it. I watched the clip that came out, and there was a lot of comic accurate stuff in it. And I was like, yeah. okay, if this is just a full on like comic accurate kind of thing, because it wasn't at first, was it? Like with that initial no, trailer, it was like a horror like horror teen movie. Yeah, when and in like 2015 like, yeah. when it was first announced. Yeah, back when like... teen mo- like teen horrors were cool. Yeah. Where so, we had stuff well, like before it and all that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we'll go through the um, not so massive ones before we go to the other one. Sure. So, so we've got the war with Grandpa. Uh, I don't think we need to say anything more about that. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We've Give got us that a ten key. every time you see it. What do you think? Zero. Excited rated zero. Wow. Mm, minus ten. Minus ten. Mm, the bad. King's Man. Oh, film uh, that... I'm like a six. I'm I was an eight. Mm, but... I'm still gonna go and see it, but I'm just like I'm not as pumped as I would be if it was like Kingsman three. Yeah, yeah. Kings three, three men. <laughs> Kings like, three men. No, no. Do I we think need a prequel? Best, right? If we have ki- the Kingsman and then um, just have Eggsy just show up, you know? Yeah, in nineteen. <laughs> yeah, 19... yeah, World War One. The devil all the time. I wait. I keep hearing about this one. Is it a horror thing? I think it's like a, f- a thriller kind of thing. But I watched the trailer. And I was like, "Eh, who's in it? Anyone no, of note?" As um, Tom Holland. Oh no, that looks sick. Oh no, I did get quite excited about that one. I saw it's on Netflix, just, isn't it? Yeah, I just don't know what it's about. Like, in, I think uh, it's is it set in the third? It's like set in the thirties or forty? No, maybe later than that. I don't know. Well, there's like the it's like the deep south, and they've got like a preacher who's come to the village, and it's yeah. like it's weird, isn't it? It's all yeah. It's I have like a feeling it's going to be quite a cult cool film. Thing. Yeah. Tom Holland's accent took me by surprise. He's like Robert Pattinson turns around, and he's like, "Hey," and he's just like, "You have time for a sinner?" And I was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I, I I don't think he's not like he's nowhere Daniel Craig no. in Knives Out. He's just Michael but, J. Fox. He really is. He's just like <laughs> we've just got another yeah. one. Um, Antebellum. Antebellum. Is that like Annabelle or whatever? Those horror films. I don't really know. Is I don't. What, I've, I know. I've heard of the word Antebellum before, but I don't know what its meaning is when you just put it on its own. A successful author finds herself in a horrifying reality and must figure out the mystery behind it before it's too late. What? An author finds herself in a what? horrifying reality. To the real world, then. Hi, yeah. welcome to my TED talk. Uh, no, I'm in 2020. Literally, today we'll be discussing uh, the horrible reality that is now. Oh, um, the next one is a film that I haven't seen the trailer for because it came out like yesterday. Death on the Nile. That's the sequel to Death on the Murder on the Death Orient? on the Not Nile. Death on the Not Nile. Death on the Zane. Death on the Louis. Okay. Hmm. Death on the Harry. Death on the Death Neil. On the- <laughs> Death on the Neil. Neil! And it's the <laughs> sequel, death, death on the Y. The Death on the River Seven. Death on the River Seven. It's not as exciting. But, yeah. You know, you got, you, you got to make do with what you got, you know. <laughs> death on the Seven. Have you... Just seven with the, you. And there's this other one, The French Dispatch. I've not heard of that. Never yes, heard that's of the, um, that's the Wes Anderson one. Oh, I need to fully binge Wes Anderson. I still haven't, like, like there's so many that everyone will go, because <gasps> I haven't seen it, and I, I'm just never going to, I'm gonna never going to say it out loud until I watch them, and I'm like, ah, I've watched who this. Who's Wes Anderson? Who is Wes As in, um, it's like Fantastic Mr. Fox? Yeah, I'm I know. Oh, God, I thought you were being serious, and I was really like... Yeah, I know. Oh, but my like, God. I've, not, I've never really watched his films. Yeah, they're all sort of like... 
Um, they're all very like uh, a type. Yeah. Hmm. And so yeah, they're quirky. Yeah. Then we have um, deep water horizon. No, it's just deep oh. water. Mm. It's it's a prequel. Titan. It's a prequel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deep water. I, I don't know uh, what I don't know what that film is. is it so. Shark Tales prequel? Because if I'm if it's Perhaps, not, I'm not interested. Yeah. Say sequel uh, to oh, Shallow oh, no, Water. Got, <laughs> it has. It has right. Uh, ben Affleck in it. Oh, it's a sequel uh, to Tropic Thunder. And Finn Wittrock. Finn Wittrock? What a he name. Just, no, I just gonna, a well-to-do husband who allows his wife Finn to have... Oh, no. Okay, that sounds boring as hell. It's just about... Is it monogamy? or Monogamy is just only being with one person. No, what's the other one? Isn't it? Panogamy. <laughs> uh, polygamy. But, yeah, that one. It's just um, a film about that. Why, why would you call it Deep Water? Yeah. Like, uh, come on. Up Soul Creek without a paddle. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, Soul. Because that... I'm in too deep. In... Uh, oh, yeah, Soul. That looks into good. Who is in this on. one? Jimmy Fox. Oh. That's basically it. There's other it's people. a weird one, because they announced it sort of like after they announced other Disney products that are yeah. coming out afterwards. I thought Soul was like a, you know, the little shorts they do. Yeah, same. I thought it was one of them. Like mm, like it, it looks like that. it, yeah. Yeah. Then we have... Does he die? Guys. It looks like he dies. Oh, yeah, I think he did. Yeah. Because yeah, he's like <laughs> trailer they did. Yeah. There's spoilers there Just in the trailer. The, yeah. Yeah. Um, free free guy. guy. That should be oh, interesting. Yeah. It should be interesting, but I feel like I can't trust it. Yeah. I it can't. doesn't look so... <laughs> game film, as I thought it would. No, it looks risky. I think I yeah. think it could be a, this could be a bit of a bomb. Oh yeah, it's like, just how much. Twice. It's just how much you got to rely on Ryan Reynolds in it. You know, like yeah. to bring in the big yeah, exactly. money because of him. Yeah, and that's it basically. West Side Story. It's about a story set on the East Side. Oh, oh man, nice. Is it mm. Spielberg? Someone famous, isn't it? Yeah, Spielberg, a remake of the original. Wow, they, um... a remake. We coming need. to Just America. What we need. Coming to America with a two instead of two. Really? Yeah. It's a it's a sequel. To oh, coming no. to Am- with, no with, with Eddie Please, Murphy. No. Oh no, it's got Eddie Murphy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And James L. Jones. James L. Jones. Yeah, James L. Jones was the king mm. of the land that they were from. I can't remember what it was. Such a good film. McDowell's. Have you have you guys seen it? It's such a good film. I have not. He he works in McDowell's when he comes to America, which is like a rip off brand to, of McDonald's. I've seen coming to America. Yeah, it's, it's so good, isn't it, Greg? <laughs> oh. What is it? The oh, so much fun. Oh, the name of the hairspray. I always like. It's like the the horrible greasy hairspray they all use to keep the afro sort of mm. uh, soul and glow or something like that. It's like it's got such a horrible name. And the last film that is not a major. The last film ever coming cool. out. According to me, as I'm the one choosing this, the Overlord uh, yeah. is Top Gun. Oh, oh boring! Oh, I can't. Why? Look. It's just going to be Tom Cruise playing Tom Cruise again. Precisely. So, Does, did it need a sequel? Really? No, no. I haven't even seen it, and I know it didn't need a sequel. This is when I was watching Interview with the Vampire the other night. Like the other night, I say that like it wasn't like a week and a half ago or something, but like. <laughs> um, that was like one of the first films because I'd seen it before, but it was like one of the first films where I was like, Tom Cruise isn't playing himself, and he like they put like blonde hair on him. It's like besides Tropic Thunder as well, but that's only a cameo. Uh, he's just like he's got like a wig on. He's doing like a bit of an accent. It's just wow. not Tom Cruise, which is kind of like cool. Even when he played like a German Nazi in Valkyrie, he was still Tom Cruise. Oh yeah, my favorite Nazi, Tom Cruise. So. The first of the big films here we go isn't actually on this list, but I've just remembered it. Uh, Fast and Furious ten is or ten or nine. The nine space lost count. When's it coming out? The one with John Cena. It's coming out next April because they pushed it back an entire year, Bruh. which is probably, which is looking like the smartest decision that any company made. Yeah, mm. honestly, give it time uh, to develop, rewrite, yeah. and all that. You just Don't put really. it on the poster and it looks like nobody's on it. 
Yeah, I can't really say that I'm. I'm never going to be excited for one. Honestly, I don't know. No, no. until I they say watching until they five. say until they say this is the last one. Oh yeah, I might consider maybe watching it. Uh, gonna get then we it. have. Yeah, that's going to get. We're going to get like you know, where uh, airplane two, the the rocky like thirty four or whatever. Yeah, joke. It's going. It's been. There's going to be a uh, film like that, and they're just going to spoof Fast and Furious, but they're actually going to reach. Do you want the pitch? Do you really want the pitch? You know how Creed. You know how Creed works. Oh no! Right, picture this. Yeah, it's like a it's like a a a PG rated family film where Mm -hmm. Vin Diesel and his son are trying to win like a go karting race thing. You know, one of those soapbox races. And it's obviously got. It, yeah, honestly, it's going to be like Creed. He's just going to be like the trainer. And he's going to walk in with like, you know, just sweatpants on. And he's got like a do 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 sort of like he's old <laughs> he's got a good fedora. And it's going to end with him going, it's all about family. When they're like, right. you know, gunfire and tanks Credits on the motorway. Roll. Yeah. So basically, so from that, the next stage in the Fast and Furious series development is like they did with Rogue One in Star Wars is and uh, Solo. It's going to be a Fast and Furious story. <laughs> I hate it. Thanks. Cars <laughs> four. They're all prequels. <laughs> that oh, is that'd be awful, it. man. I can't star. Oh. De-aged Wait. Vin Diesel. Oh. Um, Irishman in style. Three Fast, Three Furious, which is a sequel to Two Fast, Two Furious. Yeah, but not the third film. We've got to uh, go back. It's not a sequel to Tokyo Drift. Just a sequel to you know they're going to do like the James Cameron. Um, oh, they're going to start again and they're going to do like, yeah, they're brought back from the dead, Paul Walker and James Dean because, you know, he died in a car, that sort of mm. Poetic Wait, have anyone heard about that James Dean thing? Do you remember there was like that whole thing where that guy's going to bring James Dean back and he's going to be like the star of a film When was this? It was like, I want to say late last year Okay yeah, I'm like, like I'm, what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna uh, Google it. Like, and they've asked yeah, his family, and yeah. the family are all okay with it. Like, and it's gonna be added because James Dean only did a couple of films. I think it was at seven or something. Yeah, he did about like yeah, like I think there was only three films where he's like actually seven, yeah, major. Three films, that was it. And it was like they're gonna class it as maybe like the actual fourth film, which is kind of weird, man. Like, I don't understand because he's not playing James Dean. It's not like they're bringing him back to be like you know, uh, a sort of metaphorical ghost of james dean is like the protagonist like he's like just another character in the film he's not <laughs> i i've just searched and i literally can't find anything it just oh, says, it just says something. um james dean who died in 1955 just landed a new movie role thanks to cgi bro is that it yes i wonder if that film's still in development or if it's rightfully been cancelled <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but it looks like it's going to be a Vietnam movie. Bruh. It's like, um, bringing it back to Fast 10, weren't there rumours that Paul Walker, like his brothers, were on the set? Oh and my so people, god. People are thinking that they're going to do Oh Paul no. Walker. They mm. should not do that. They did it very tastefully. I think they did a hell of a good job in Fast 7, was it? Yeah. Like, um, to, you know, end it with all the, till I see you again, like, you know, as they, like, part ways on the road. If they just go, like, if, you know how they've, like, the famous trope of the Fast and Furious now is, like, the last shot of it will be, like, a guy from the fourth film turning around towards the camera, like, as someone enters, like, the office. Oh, yeah. It's going to be that, but it's going to be Paul Walker, and it's mm. going to be, like, hang on. <laughs> Looks at camera. They, they didn't kill him off, though, so, like, I feel uh, like... They reference him in one of the, uh, I think it might be the last one. They're like, "What? Well, we need to bring him in. And then like, one of them's like, no, we can't do that because he's fucking dead. Yeah. Just stop mentioning him. I hate what's happened to that story. I can't lie. It was so cool yeah. at the start. It's like an undercover cop goes into the like, you know, the b- underbelly of like illegal street racing. And he like, you know, finds out that they're not all horrible people. And then now it's literally just like tanks and guns and the rock and Idris Elba's a superhero and too fast. Don't worry, guys. A Star we Wars story. Being, we went from being <laughs> a normal car movie to being basically any genre 
with cars. Literally. I mean, basically, yeah. Like, you know, Cars 2, you know. I actually want there to be a Cars, cars 3. Fast and Furious crossover. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what, yeah. Owen Wilson. And if it's just like Can I go a little <laughs> short. How, wait, how the hell did they not do that? How the hell did they not do that in Cars 3? Vin Diesel and yeah. some of the other Fast and Furious people voicing some cars. Just voicing cars that sort of look like them. That would be yeah, sick. Right. You, know, you, know, um, you know Cars 1? Yes. I had the like, post-credit mm. scenes of all the Pixar films as yeah. cars. Like Sully and stuff. Like, just do that for some furious. Absolutely. I agree. Just, it just the exact same cars, just with eyes, mm. voiced by the characters that drive them. But ending I every mean, scene that, they're in with one of them saying, it's about family. Yeah, it's about, it's about family. family. Um, <laughs> McQueen, you need to get out there. Why? <laughs> because family. <laughs> McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you just called him McQueen as well is so good. It's like becomes like really realistic. McQueen, you gotta get out there. You gotta help. But I can't. <laughs> it's just like And there's maters there and so he's just like a pickup truck and he's just carrying like the wreckage of <laughs> dead McQueen, like oh, no. my wheels are, all, are all broken up. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> McQueen <laughs> Mate to become like a secret agent, <laughs> super agent Mater, yeah. <laughs> so basically, cool cane got, in the greatest oh of all time cars God. too. So we've got this uh, so pitch here, right? A cars, a Fast and Furious, a car story, story. Car, Cars Four, right? And yeah. they, they call it Cars Four, even though they say a Fast and Furious story. Yeah, Pixar is a big name on it. Just, just don't answer. Just don't question it. It's just, yeah, it's fine. Mm. There's no legal issues if we don't talk about it. it starts up. You've got Meta and Daniel Craig, Super Spy Car. I think we uh, Michael Caine, Daniel Craig. Yeah, it's Michael Caine. I know, I know, but bringing in Daniel Imagine. Craig. Oh, we're bringing in Daniel Craig in the DB5. That's like, or no, yeah. DB9, something like modern. Yeah, yeah. As double. You know, we would and make an actual uh, lit cars movie. I'm not even joking. Like that would be if, so good. Yeah. They've got to call up their American uh, oh. allies. Oh. A bit like Kingsman 2. Uh, Whoa. It's literally just like David Hasselhoff. Doom, 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 doom. And it's just like uh, Michael J. Fox is voicing a DeLorean. Like, oh, don't even. Mm. And it's all like the Fast and Furious done. Oh, I want this film more than anything in my life now. Disney, why could, why didn't listening. they do that? They should have just referenced. I mean, there's probably a lot of legal issues, like, you know, with like, Having like oh, Warner yeah. Brothers and Universal properties as like vehicles, but like surely they could do like sort of subtle references of That's like celebrities, but being their like favorite famous cars from the, films. The best, best part would be The Rock. Dwayne Johnson is still is still just The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. He's not a car. <laughs> He's just really small. <laughs> just... <laughs> He's been like all, green like, screened you know... in. Yeah, yeah. Four <laughs> <little> <laughs> feet tall cars like. And he's just green screened in, like with his hand, like awkwardly, like rotoscopes on top of one of them. <laughs> and he's like 2D. Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, they're like, all just the like, come on, we gotta go. It's just change. like, but I'm. <laughs> the rock just goes, I haven't got a car. <laughs> I haven't got a car. <laughs> oh, it's just like a Seinfeld. Wah, wah. It's just sort of like. Oh, uh, that is so good. Greg, they need to hire I you mean, for the new cars. I one. know. No, no, the cars, new- cars 4, they should reveal who's actually driving all the cars. <laughs> who's who oh, is that a car? <laughs> so, the most messed up thing that could happen <laughs> in a car... car. <laughs> not, not dead cars. I want to see not... dead cars. Just like a <laughs> graveyard. No, no, the most messed up thing would be Transformers. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> What would they turn out of? Precise. Uh, they're all just like really fleshy on the inside. Oh. Oh. You know the Slovene? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, they're just like, like a they're head just, zip thing. Yeah, they just kind of like just take off their car zip. Pop the tyres off and just squirt them out. Oh, oh God. Oh. That'd be so good. Hmm. I like just Cronenberg. don't know why, yeah, just why haven't they done 
Cronenberg's. Um, what do I want to see of Cronenberg? Toy um, Story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't know I wanted it until now. Um, I want to see Cronenberg's Benjamin Button. No. Bits fall off him as he gets younger. Old. Uh... Yeah, he it, has. It doesn't the... work, though, man. Benjamin Button doesn't it, work. It doesn't work. Think about it. No, it, he's so messed up. Like the fact that he becomes like a baby. Yeah. But he was a baby already. Mm. Exactly. So why has he become a baby again? So he was a baby of an old man, but like had the voice and intelligence of a of a of a child, but looked like an old man. But then devolves into literally being a child. But is he like really wise as like a, a baby? No, no, because he beca- he has like dementia as a baby. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I would have I would have found it funny, right? Had they just kind of had someone just done like someone needs to do right. We need proper spoof movies. Yeah, so, like you know, like they do it with all of like, the films uh, together. Like Lester yeah. Nielsen, yeah, like yeah, just. Proper, not like scary movie or disaster movie, like Airplane or Naked Gun. Yeah, the high you know, Those kind of like proper, you know, high concept. High concept. High concept. Uh, high concept. It's, just, it's just high concept, boys, you know? like Yeah, like when the concept it, is so them. high, you know, you know what I mean? Like that's the yeah, sweet spot. Exactly. When it's not like, not low, you know? Yeah, we don't watch low like, concept movies. I feel like it'd be easy to do, to do a spoof on Christopher Nolan. Oh, definitely. The crisp like, visuals will be so fun to try and like yeah. take the piss mm. out of. Like, everything's so not, clean and not just the visuals, just like the fact that everything has to be so like you know, oh, it's so it's so like you know, secretive and like you don't know what's going on. Yeah, like so oh. meticulously planned, mm. like. Oh, it'd be so clever. You just see like stuff in the background, and it's like deliberate red herrings are being put into place. Like you see, like the characters from the film just like moving about in the background, like planting stuff that just doesn't get used. You could and, just like, do. You could do. You could just do like the first ten minutes are full of Chekhov's guns. Yeah, and then just it'd just be a dream sequence, them, and you just don't bring them up. Just you know. Oh, so good. Yeah, like buildings oh, are no. like folding in on themselves. Yeah, yeah, they go to space at some point. Oh. You in know, fact, it took me so long to watch Inception. Like, I genuinely hadn't watched same. it for like oh. same year. Same. But what did wow. you think of it once you had watched it? I was so surprised. I like literally, I somehow managed to avoid everything about it. So when Matt Damon rocked up, I know it was literally twenty twenty when I watched it, and I was like, oh, Matt Wait, Damon's Matt Damon's, hmm. Matt Damon's in that film, Interstellar, or was, did I say Inter- Inception? Yeah. Oh, I meant Interstellar, sorry. My bad. I was going to say, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Matt Damon in that. Yeah, I, I, but like, I had no idea. <laughs> Matt Damon in Inception, yeah. Oh, Dom, don't you remember? It's when he like comes, like oh, when they save him from Mars and he comes down. I mean, yeah. I do remember um, Michael Caine being one of the top billed people and he's in it for like three minutes or something. Yeah. I don't even remember him in it. He's... Uh, he's he's such a minor role. I feel like his role in this internet uh, to get back to get back onto the yeah. upcoming surgery, But I feel like his role in internet will be a very very minor. It's Have you still heard all the theories that it's the going to be an Inception sequel? It's not. No, no. Right. I looked. I've been spoiled. Uh, apparently, oh, I don't do know if it's true. Though. Careful, careful. But I'm not going to say it. But if yeah. it is what it, if it is what the woman said in the Guardian review, which you also looked at but didn't read yeah. the whole thing. If it is what she said, then that is really, really bad. Mm, and because the thing is, right, I was talking to James earlier, you know, the guy who does the mm-hmm. Doctor Who podcast with us, and uh, I was like, there is a comic book where, if, right, so if that idea is what it is, there's a comic mm-hmm. book where that idea is the big reveal. So mm. if, if that is the big reveal, he can't act like this is some like oh my god I'm so cool look what I did. Uh, what um I'm not gonna ask what like comic run what like oh sorry I was just drinking uh, what like uh company is the comic from? It's uh, DC. Interesting. Mm. See, I love this. Big... I don't like direct spoilers, but when someone like right. sort of hints at me, I, I love it more than I'll anything. Give, I'll give you a like a bit of a bigger hint. It's one of the big events. Bruh, that's interesting, yeah. man. So. Yeah, it's like the second I read it, I was like, no. Like, because mm. 
because obviously he must have some interesting comics, mm. at least if he's do if he did Batman. I mean, yeah, yeah. especially DC wise. Yeah, yeah. Has he has he been writing Tenet for ages, or Tenet or whatever? <laughs> well, he wrote he wrote it, and then he decided to write it again, and he's just written it so many times that he forgot what happened. <laughs> he he wrote it in a dream once. Mm. He wouldn't even reveal the script to himself. <laughs> on, he, yeah, he told the actors it, their lines it just before the mm. scene. I mean, oh my God. if it works like, for him, he went his say, own dream. You say and to told him, him yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> As but, they're doing it, he should be on the camera, just like like a soccer mom, just like reading the lines. I I we. Are we going to go and see Tenet as a group, or are we going to leave oh, that? shit, Because uh... it comes out in five days. See, that's true. And obviously, we're back oh, in Worcester. Man. I just, uh, I would have to, if things. I've already watched it, I would still go again. Like, because it's yeah. Nolan, and I want to see Nolan mm. in cinema again, but... It's it one just, of those things, isn't it? I would happily, like... We definitely need to talk about it as soon as it comes out. I feel like that's going to be a podcast, that's, right? That's what I mean, like, to go and see it when it comes out, we can get the views, you know, from the people in America and elsewhere who haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. Obviously, exactly. it's going to be spoiler, spoiler filled. Yeah, mm. Mm. we could do two. A lot of channels do two, don't they? Yeah, we could do a shorter spo- uh, spoiler free mm. review. Yeah, or just half uh, the video spoiler free, and then have that thing that was like, "Leave now, leave all of you, yeah, yeah. go away." <laughs> yeah, spoiler, but. Spoiler. Yeah, we will decide on that. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be so interesting. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm really looking forward even, to it. To be honest, Dom, even though you've had like that sort of thing sort of said to you, does it like intrigue it, you more how they do it, or no? Because oh, if, it is what it, if it is what it said, it's a fucking terrible idea. I think her writing style in that Guardian article is very, very oh, poor. I thought I was like, one, this doesn't come across like one of the big names. Yeah, like. I'm right. I'm waiting. The review that I'm waiting to see is um, uh, Simon Mayo. Is it Simon Mayo? Yeah, it's Ka- say Ka- Kermode. Yeah, Mayo, Kermode yeah. Mayo on YouTube. Their review of it, I will give that a watch when it comes out. Should be yeah. coming out hopefully soon. And then you know they it's spoiler free, obviously. And yeah, from that I can probably piece it together a better thing. Literally, I don't agree with like all of their like reviews. Like I've seen some in the past, but I've never said they're wrong. Like, you know, they give you something and I'll be like, yes, but no. They just, yeah, they have a different yeah. viewpoint on it. Yeah, exactly. They're That's well-informed, the really. Like, they, they definitely, yeah. like, put a lot of thought into their reviews. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Uh, I don't know if I said this in the podcast or if it was before, but the unhinged thing, like, they reviewed that. The un- and unhinged. Which Unhinged, the Russell Crowe one that's just come out. Oh, yeah. And they were like, it's just fun. It's just a big kind of like loud Russell Crowe has a big truck and he's angry. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's a good in Cars 4. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. He's the new Cars 4. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, lightning. Um, uh, <laughs> so, lightning, Queen. Let it go. <laughs> So is that what we've, is that what you just decided? The big villain in Cars Four, a Fast and Furious tale, is Russell Crowe Big Car. Big Car, <laughs> Russell Crowe Big Car. <laughs> yeah, that's his, that's the IMDb listing. Mm. Um, <laughs> we're interviewing uh, Russell Crowe today for role of a uh, big car in um, Cars Four. Uh, take one. <laughs> it's like the Meg. Big Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> big Jaws. Uh, <laughs> big Meg. Doesn't have, the, doesn't have the same ring to it, does it, if you call it? Mm. <laughs> big Meg. Uh, even bigger Jaws. Yeah, but Not come like on. I mean, Tanette, Tanette has a character called the protagonist. Is that Yeah, is that like, true? Because I was reading that. Yeah. It's, he, it's, does it's he have exactly. a name in it? Or is he just called the I protagonist? Think, yeah. Oh, it's so pretentious. Oh. Right. I think he's going to get a name, but yeah. I think he's going to be referred to as the protagonist in all of that stuff. He sounds so much like his dad, doesn't he? I didn't notice it as much because he was doing the accent in um, Black Klansman. The thing is, right, is mm. is there going to be, is the name, if we get it revealed, which I assume we will, 
is the name going to be like an important reference to yeah, something? I feel else, like it's so. going to be the key to the entire thing. Fuck, I think it's going to be Inception, lads. I don't know if this is like oh. my theory is. I... Yeah, but who could he be related to in Inception? Cobb, somehow. There is a thing called Cobb? race. Yeah, there is a thing called race. Like, yeah. Um... I feel like... Would you put it past him though? I know. I feel like oh, I don't know. I feel like that'd be a bit of a risky one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, mm. not Cobb. Uh, oh, right, Robert Pattinson, but his character's been named, so it doesn't really. Yeah. Or has he though? No, his character is called Neil. Neil. Neil from the Inbetweeners. Neil. Oh, Neil. Yeah. He's lanky Neil. <laughs> uh, yeah, the protagonist's name is actually uh, Simon. <laughs> and Will. Michael and Will. Will. Michael Caine <laughs> is uh, playing Will. <laughs> Your man from yesterday is Jay. Yeah, but I don't know. I I don't want to say... Yeah, Himish Patel. I don't want to say anything about this film until I've seen it now. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. If it is is what I've... What I say, uh, I am going to be so, so disappointed. Go on. Okay, because you know something. Say, like, uh, right. Completely not what you know, but, like, have you got any wild theories about this film? Just completely unrelated to what you know. Well, I just like I, you know, I thought it was going to be like, you know, oh, they go they go forwards and then they go backwards. Yeah, I still, I it still keeps in the trailer, and it doesn't quite work. Still, I don't understand how. No, like, you know, like the catch the bullet, catch the bullet makes sense because it's like, oh, it's like, mm. yeah, if it's going backwards, oh. you technically are oh, catching right. it. You know, like with the gun, Wait, you don't fire great. a bullet, you Wait catch a, a bullet. I forgot that was in the trailer. Yeah, it's um, yeah. inversion. Can I, can, I, can I say the big twist then, if that's in the trailer? I don't know if what you know is actually a big mm. twist or just general knowledge. I don't know, because apparently, in the in the Guardian article apparently it was, but bullets that fly through time. Backwards in time. Yeah, so that sort of is explained. Yeah, that's not mm. really... Yeah. Okay. Is that all? Oh. And apparently soldiers with them and... Uh, that guy who played Quicksilver is one of the bad people or good people. The Guardian review really wasn't clear on that. No, it wasn't very good, was it? It was like it was like, and this guy who plays this guy who goes back in time. I was like, who? So okay, so that still doesn't. So catching the bullet does make sense, you know. It's sort of, but then when he's like, you know, fighting in the corridor in the. Tra- have you seen the trailer that keeps showing on TV? I've seen tra- I've, I've seen every trailer they've released on YouTube. So. It's like the it's like the quite short one that would like be an advert on YouTube as well, where he like cat like he almost like yeah. summons a gun to his hand from on the floor. Oh yeah. How does that work then? If the he force. didn't throw the gun, literally. Just like turns out they're all Jedi, you know. I don't understand. So is it because if okay, guns moving through time backwards makes sense. Like it's like special like that, but mm. gun guns don't. Well, it's okay. <laughs> But they do, because why not? Yeah, it's a time make... gun. See, I feel like there's going to be a lot of... I feel like it could be very explained very well, but... I mean, Inception is sort of like... Dumb people still don't get it. Do you know what I mean? Like Inception <laughs> is not as smart as it thinks it is. No. When, no like, when, when you watch like, it more and more as well, you really like mm, notice it. It's, like, it's, okay, it's, it's really just it. layer upon layer. Yeah, but I've watched this film once. There was nothing in it that I was like... Oh my god! What was yeah. that? What was going on? I'm completely lost here. Like, I need yeah. to watch it again. It was like, okay, they go in a dream. That's one problem I had with Inception. It's like they big it up so much. Like, oh my god, you, it's so hard. You can't do that. And they do it, and it's like, oh, that was easy. Yeah. To be fair, like the last, like the dream. How do they? How do they know that they're gonna get like you know how? Okay, how does a kit inside a dream work? Doesn't work. That's the problem. It's no. like you know, what's it? What's it called? The, what's the actual machine called? I forgot. The, the dream machine. <laughs> the dream the genie. Sleep, the sleepy briefcase. I don't know. <laughs> the sleepy, the yeah. sleepy briefcase. Right. On the real world, yeah, it makes sense. Like, okay, so they, you know, it's basically a drug that puts you under, and then you know, like, makes your dreams a bit more liquidy and uh, flow better. But then, okay, so how do you get one in the dream state below? And then from that, you just grab it and you grab it right then. But then, how come everyone at the same time manages to fall asleep? If it's like one person's belief that they can like fall asleep in the dream, you can't medically induce someone even further. 
because it wouldn't no. just make them fall asleep because then they it, just wouldn't wake up. It basically it's in the in the so, low world. What the problem is, right? So they, yeah. So what they want you to believe is that you are in you are conscious in the dream world. So yes. basically, what you're doing is going to sleep in the dream world, but that doesn't work. And then how do you go? Okay, that makes sense, right? And then. Yeah, but if it's like medically induced, like the machine always works, how then do they wake up in the world, the like the third dream level, and then the fourth? Like they can't keep medically inducing themselves further. It just doesn't make sense. Like you can yeah, only entire, cause it only works like, once in the real world, doesn't it? Like when you think entire, about it, the entire film doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, this is a movie. Like, <laughs> true. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Like the oh, whole, cool. the whole, right? The whole plot of we're going to go inside and we're going to plant this idea in this guy's head yeah. to sell the company I or whatever. Like that. I do really it's, like the film. Yeah. Obviously. It's like when I'm up there with like one of my faves, sort of. But it's, but also, like, like, it's also like, uh, it's a bit, a bit dumb, you know. <laughs> mm. bit dumb. I feel like that's, if, I, I bet he got pissed off of trying to explain it to people. Imagine when you're trying to make the film because it is, I'm going to say it again, it's quite high concept, but like <laughs> yeah. a confusing sort of way to explain. Like, it's quite simple, but like, imagine when you're I'll... making, like the director of photography is sort of like, okay, so but like, I, I mean, I know you understand it, Christopher, but like, can you just sort of, you know, mm. let me explain know. Explain it to me like I'm five. Yeah. Can you, can you just fucking explain what's going on? Because I am completely lost. He just like tucks his turtleneck further up and throws his scarf further over his shoulder, and he's like, "Um, no, <laughs> just just shoot what I'm telling you. Just shoot." Literally, puts pipe back in mouth. Yeah, I just I don't know. Like, it's it's a film, I guess. Yeah. It was a good film, but it was like people give it too much credit. I think for being like, "Oh my god, it's so amazing! It's so high concept." I don't I'm know. Just, it is very good, though. That's like I know, but I'm just waiting for Christopher Nolan to, in his next like major interview for his next major film that isn't Tenet, to say, "Well, my next high concept p- yeah, uh, feature yeah. film." Do you think cool, he'll do but, another high? I don't know if there's a pattern yet. Like he doesn't really do that many um, Dunkirks, does he? Like when you see it, it's kind of a bit strange that he made like a sort of just wartime <laughs> film about boats. Film about boats. Yeah, film about boats, little boats in the yeah, in the water. Yeah. So uh the next one is gonna be called uh Civic and it's gonna be about a Honda. <laughs> it's actually gonna be called Civic, is this true? Yes, because that's a palindrome. Uh palindrome. Yeah. yeah, of course. Or right. Or Wait, is it I gonna be a actually, sequel to Tanet? Actually, no, I'm sorry. The next one is much better, right? This, uh... Hannah. So these are the ideas, right? So Race these cow. are the ideas. Race cow. No, 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 no. These are the ideas, right? So it's, uh... The sequel to, uh, Blink. You know, from Doctor Who. And it's Don't yeah. Nod. Nod, yeah. Okay. Uh, then it's, uh... Then there's <laughs> also the, There's the, uh, high-concept film My Gym. About a gym owner. Who uh, wow. fall through time and invent the idea of gyms? And then where are uh, you reading uh, these? The internet. <laughs> what then do you I'll type in? Palindrome examples. Then My there's uh, gym. Yeah. Oh, it's in gym. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then okay, there's I this. See that. Like, this is great. This is a good one, right? Red rum, sir, is murder. Oh, that's kind of cool. That'd be a good like sequel to uh, thingy. Shining. You know that movie. Uh, then I love so my my sequel to my spoof of Top Gun is Top Spot, Top Shot, which is t- then uh, the Catwoman uh, film. What uh, it's going to be? Catwoman was it a cat I saw? Was it a cat I saw? Oh my god! Why? What's the point? Like then, uh, just so weird. Race <laughs> car's my favorite because it just weirdly shouldn't make sense. Then yeah, there's but this. Uh, it does yeah. Then there's the um, great. So there's this great uh, film about farming, and it's called Lo- No Lemon, No Melon. <laughs> when are you ever going to use that? Precisely. Oh, or you know, you know what they say? No Lemon, No Melon. 
the you greatest song saying? of all time. All right. The greatest song of all time. Either can I see bees in a cave? Because that is a sentence that needs to be said backwards. I mean... Oh, no. What? Don't give me... Don't give me... Don't give me a brain teaser. I'm just <laughs> trying to look at examples here. <laughs> just give me the answers, goddammit. So, then we, then we have uh, Cars 5, race car. Race car, yeah. Race you know? car, voiced by Christopher Nolan in <laughs> right. Cars 4. <laughs> Oh my god. That would be There's so meta. Word. That would be way too meta. Yeah, right. oh, man. So if we look at this, all right. So we've had wow. Jitterbug. Oh no, I think it's a wham. Oh. Wow. 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 Well, that wow. 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 We've had Tenet. Did anyone watch that film? World No World oh of Warcraft, god. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, so did Christopher Nolan do World of Warcraft? No, it was David no. Bowie's son, I believe. Are you sure he wasn't involved? Why is it? Wow. Yeah, I think it was David Bowie's son, Duncan. Because on this list, Wow is the last one, then it goes Tenet, Stats, Solo, what does, Sagas, What wrote. does Tenet mean, or Tenet, or I David Tenet? I don't think Tenet has a meaning. That's stupid, because then it's not a palindrome, it's just letters that look like <laughs> work oh, right, the same right. back and do you know what a I mean? principle or belief, especially one of the main principles of a religion or philosophy. <gasps> oh, so oh, yeah, the tenets of like, yeah, yeah, I know means absolutely nothing. Staple. Oh, like don't, don't worry though. Don't worry though. All right. Tip. Dom's just been similar sounding words. Tenet yeah. is sometimes <laughs> revealed too much. Is sometimes confused with tenet. Tenet. <laughs> if you're an though. idiot, maybe. So David the, ex- the next one's dead. actually about a uh, landlord. Oh, yeah, cool. is, why are we talking about palindromes now? I'd like you just started reeling them off. I know, I know. But... Um, oh yeah, I don't know. Do you think the name of tenant has some meaning to the sort of? It's going to. It's absolutely going to. It's not the name of the company, in it is it? It might be. Oh no! Could... like the soldiers. No, but in real life, it actually is the name of a company. It's a bike company that sued, well, like threatened to sue Warner Brothers. Oh dear! Uh, because the logo was the same as the company. Oh, that is a sticky with one. The, yeah, with the backwards E. <sighs> so that's oh, why. Yeah, that that's why both it. E's are now the right way. Oh, that's so annoying. I actually quite like the backwards E. Oh mm. no. I've just searched up onomatopoeia yes. <laughs> because I'm thinking about words, right? And uh, on, on Google Images, so it has a picture, right? The first one is, it's just a bunch of them, right? It's boom, wow, splat, zap, you know, the, the classics. And then you've got OMG because that is an no, onomatopoeia. That's, that's not an onomatopoeia. It's just that's how you say it. The, right, so the reason you have boom is the sound that yeah. it makes with the B, the O, and the M. What sound does OMG the, make? It doesn't. And it has it has WTF. No, that's just... Oh, they're abbreviations, not onomatopoeia. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, no, 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 no. I'm going to have to leave this one. The last one on the list is, is yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what meaning does yeah have? Like, yeah. 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 That's actually really. That's actually melted my brain a minute of me actually trying to figure out like what. Yeah, you know, like it's buzz website, is obviously it's like the website. noise. Of buzz. Mm. It's on a website called Think yeah. Written. You're yeah. clearly not. Yeah, that that's yeah. broken me. That's broken me. I think they Ooh. think it's when a word sounds like how you say it. No, which is how words not. work, not just onomatopoeias. Ribbit. If I say door and it weirdly sounds like door when I say the word door, that's not an onomatopoeia. The website name, yeah. name is very, very ironic. Oh. So, yeah, we've got like a chew, a hem, you know, <laughs> ah, uh, yeah, bang, bark, <laughs> boo, bump, buzz, cackle, buzz. clap. 
Did I just punch the mic? Did you guys hear that? I proper punched yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up. Honk. Howl. <laughs> Poof. Like these are like these are yeah you know these are ones. So why is it that the picture they've got as tagged this article has yeah WTF and OMG on it? Yeah. If you've managed to write an entire list here that doesn't have yeah OMG or WTF, none on of it. them are. That's so dumb. Yeah, really, actually, mind boggles me because yeah just isn't anywhere it's near just a word. remotely one. It's just a word. I, my favourite onomatopoeia, though, is cheese. Mm. Right? Because it sounds like the word cheese. Yeah. Mm. Like when you say the that. word cheese, it does that cheese thing, like buzz. Cheese. Cheese. Grommet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the darkness. And oh, we've gone full circle again. I think we're stuck in a tenant loop. Like, sure. chicken, chicken run. Money. Chicken run then, yeah. yeah. Odd money is like the, it's it what keeps the world together. <laughs> it's like some tent poles that like, yeah, just keep the sort of surface of the earth like attached and it's just chicken run Wallace and Gromit. Um, flushed away. Flushed you know, away in the, the hat. Cat, I'm sure the shit Cat in the hat. Doing cat in the hat. Yeah. Cat not just, not just no, it's not Ardman, but they're just like the tent poles of uh, reality. I mean, Cat in the Hat with I still love such, you, baby. Such greats as uh, Mike Myers and Dakota Fanning. Cupcakeinator. <laughs> no, we're not talking about that. The full movie is on YouTube, for God's sake. Yeah, because like, it's amazing, and everyone should be able to witness you, it. That's how you know it is quality. Dirty ho. I still love you, baby. <laughs> Uh, well, how is that line in a kids' film? I don't understand. Because, it's every time, it's Mike Myers, and he had to kill like an accident. My God, did you just put the mic in your mouth, man? I almost, I just went very, very close. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll get you. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> no, make it look like an accident. It's so good. Anything. But anyway, moving on from Cat and Hat. Next on the upcoming Goodbye. Movie list yeah. What, what have we got? It's uh I've I've got rid of the list, I'm just doing it off of my head. Uh, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. Wonder Woman, yep, George Orwell's nineteen eighty four. I'm interested for that one. Mm. It's gonna be weird how she tackles, you know, Big Brother and um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's the I mean, the thing is, right? the states of like a communist sort of No no, no. do you know what's interesting though about the name and uh the film? So, no. 1984 is obviously, you know, the thought crime idea, right? You know? And so that's a similar enough thing. However, you know, that's a good enough name, okay. But one of the villains in the movie, Maxwell Lord... Maxwell Lord's going to be in it? Yeah, Pedro Pascal, is it? Oh, okay. That's made it more interesting. His power is mind stuff. Do you see the connection there? Well, he's yeah. going to get arrested. Not very creative, is it? <laughs> like, do you think thought crime is going to be like hinted at through him? It's really annoying me though. Like, that is a very poor name for a superhero film. I can't lie. It is. Oh, we'll just it's call it like that because it also means like that. That's like me calling my film like um, the Meg Jaws. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. <laughs> the Meg Jaws, Fast, Fast and Furious cars, like literally, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like it's like it gives you, you know, in the uh, the tagline and stuff, like we were doing for our script reports and stuff, and it was like, you know, you gotta, you can put it's sort of like this meets this. Well, don't even say like meets. It's just is this, but it is also this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Avengers three, just the duality of film. The duality of. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, I thought you actually the title of it. Avengers 3, the duality of film. Oh yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. It's a bit inaccessible you, to the public, to be honest. Can you guess what this tagline is for? Oh yes, please. Our cars speak for themselves. Life <laughs> is a journey. Enjoy the trip. It's drive time. By all known laws of aviation, bees are not supposed to be able to fly. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Honestly... Uh, it's a B movie. That's the first line of B movie, sort of. Mm. Oh, if it's, God. it's like by all known laws of aviation, bees. It's like aren't supposed to or like aren't meant to. Seriously, why is it? Why doesn't the car's tagline have "Life is a highway"? 
I want to like... ride it. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Hang on, never... that's a bit of a questionable song for a kids film. <laughs> yeah, hold up. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh here's a highway. Oh, that film, man. <laughs> Tune. God. I just. It's called cow tipping. <laughs> the last man on earth is not alone. Um. The last man on earth is not alone. The Martian two. <laughs> no. Um. The, I am legend. Yeah. On Earth, it bored him to assume it's Earth. Like, I mean, yeah, America's I a good show, and he's just like, "I'm alone. I've got nothing left." <laughs> Will, Will Smith, mate, you haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why didn't I Am Legend start with um, like in a really de- imagine right? So, so it's a fade in from black. That this like low droning comes up, and he just starts in a really deep voice. He like he's looking at this like broken shovel ground. It's got like you know bits of rubble everywhere, and he just goes um. No, this is the story all about how um, my life got flipped or not. No, I'm sorry. I had to. You just ruined it. Aaron. The, the awkward silence is killing me. You just had it to ruin it. Oh, I feel sick. A tumbleweed just went through. Take me out the back and just put one in my head, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that whistle's so good. <laughs> oh. oh. But, Go on, it was yeah. cinematic at least. You were the with next me. Film is I went in the opposite direction. No time to die. Oh, there's just no time to die. I mean, how long are we going to have Billie Eilish's Bond song before the Bond song actually comes out? Oh yeah, Bond, we're going to have a film. Oh my god, a film has been added to this list since <gasps> I it. Wow, wow, this is the biggest film on the list. The Crude Two. <laughs> this time it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> The Cruise is kind of good, like in a weird way, in a weird Nicolas Cage, Ryan Reynolds way. I can't remember if I saw that or not. I think oh no, I, I did. definitely did. Yeah, is it, is I it, remember it. Yeah, it's like the 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 so cave it's... people. They're like, yeah. you know, what's all this modern stuff? You know. Yeah, he puts like leaves on his feet, and it's like shoes. Yeah, it's got. It's basically it's got... a film bullying yeah. Neanderthals for being less evolved, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which isn't yeah. ideal. Um, um. Yeah, no time to die is the only one. The how interested am I in that? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm so, I, it's genuinely been so long. I was like, the twist. No, it does look good. Rami Malek and all that. Yeah, I know, but the twist is like, I think it's. I think Rami Malek is basically just playing Doctor No. He is Doctor No for sure. And, much, yeah, and um, uh, Christoph Waltz is the main villain still. Is it his brother? I've heard that as a theory. Is that, is that a theory or is that just true? I mean, the age gap is a bit <laughs> like I don't know. Daniel Craig's getting on a bit, and Christopher oh. just looks old. Oh yeah, that's the point. But anyway, enough about the theories for a film that's coming out next year, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yes, uh, now, and yeah. then we've got we've was it got, um, the end of summer, and everyone was like, "Oh, the end of summer," like, and now it's like done it out. Like, it was almost like what two months back was it? Yeah, yeah, that's it was eight, wasn't yeah. it? It was early, and then they pushed it back to after summer, and everyone was like, oh, that's horrible, and now it's just, like, gone. Yeah. It was literally uh, no got... time to die. So, I've, been, I've left three. Oh. I didn't mean to leave one of these. Black Widow, maybe? That is one of them. Like a Black Widow, maybe, you know? Black Widow's not one of the ones I didn't mean to leave. But oh. Candyman. Oh, very interesting trailer, that. Jordan Peele? That is interesting. Producing? Yeah. Yeah. See, I haven't seen the original, and I don't really care to. Yeah, I don't think you're going to need to. It's sort no, of in the same universe, like, though, isn't it? It is, but it looks like they're going to give you enough for yeah. you to watch it. It's yeah, no, oh, I, I always mess up his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, if it's Jordan Peele, it's bound to be good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like he's definitely but, one yeah. of the most like up and coming directors at the moment. Definitely. Oh yeah. Horror have got a few to... mad ones to be fair, like Ari Aster, Robert uh, Eggers. Eggers. Yeah. I don't think there's much to say about that one. Apart from No. It yeah, looks very, very interesting. Like the, the trailer with the what song was it? There was a there was like it was like oh. Beyonce or something. Was it like yeah. Destiny's Child? I can't but, like, remember. They, they like cut yeah, it really it was... slowly. It was really cool. 
It was one of those where it's like a normal song used eerily. Yeah. Like um, yeah. like us, do you remember that? I got f- oh, yeah. like, dum dum. But dum dum. Oh, that always like gets me. It's <laughs> freaky as hell. You guys seen us? We were in Yeah, we, we watched it in screen right. We watched it, Jesus Christ. I missed I missed that scene though. Because I, I talked to the you know. Oh bro. But anyway, then the last two. Uh Black Widow, yeah, it's coming. We'll go we'll go watch it when it comes out. Um Florence Pugh's definitely gonna somehow become Black Widow, isn't she? Yeah, basically. But there's not much to say about that one. It's could be a lot more literal than we think though. I've heard rumors that it's like there's gonna be some sort of death in the film, but it's actually gonna be like a body swap thing. No, because I was talking to James about that earlier as well. Yeah. And the fact that the Soul Stone is literally like a universal thing. Yeah. I don't think some earth based technology is gonna be able to fool it. True. Like, mm-hmm. it would just, mean, it's it not technically work. fooling it if the person still sacrificed themselves. No, no, because it has to be the connection. It has to be they they sacrifice. True. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah, but, he, he technically uh, so, loves her. Yeah, rather than. Yeah. So the last one is June. June. Oh, I have. That's going to be great. Like, I it's, can't really say anything about it until um, seeing a trailer, which was apparently it's coming. Out, it's coming out this Dennis, week. Dennis Villeneuve is such a cool director. Like with all like Blade Runner and all that. Known for great movies like Cars 1 and Cars like 2. Cars 1 and 2, yeah. He did Blade Runner, he did... Arrival. Did Arrival. He did a few before um, that. I think um, Prisoners? Yeah, Prisoners was... Oh my god, Prisoners is oh, so yeah. good. Mm. That's a horrible film. <laughs> like, like, it's painful to watch. Like, yeah, it's but like it's that so good. good. But the, the, I have not seen Prisoners. The, the... Oh, you should definitely check it out. Or have I? I can't remember. Hugh Jackman, oh. Jake Gyllenhaal, and Jake, the one with the kid gets k- kids get kidnapped. A couple of kids, yeah, yeah, and it's uh, the one I think yeah. the one who's playing Riddler. Yes, and at the end mm. of the film, Hugh Jackman. Oh, it's Detective Loki and stuff. Yeah, I remember now. It's there's like a lot of rain in it. Very much so. Hugh, Hugh Jackman Hugh. uses a rape whistle. Oh yeah, he does, isn't he? When he's in the yeah. And that's the alternative ending where Loki was going to walk away without hearing it. Oh, bro. Which would just be a bit too... Oh, no, that would be horrible. My God. (laughs) No, that is levels. I don't want want that in my life at all. Take it back. I mean... That's a sign of a good film, though, if you literally have that much of a reaction to hearing. Mm. Yeah, that, that ending wouldn't work. No, it'd be so horrible. It'd be too because it's. Oh, he made Sicario as well. God, he's very good. Hmm. And he's doing it. It's a multi. It's more than one film, isn't it? It's two, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's like um it's like a part one and part two kind of thing. I think I it? still don't know how well they work or not. Yeah. I haven't decided. They have to do it like they have to make it like um Infinity War and Endgame really. Yeah, not fucking. But, but even yeah. then, but even then, like right. Endgame. Don't work, yeah. Does it? Or Harry Harry Potter? They feel like they, it always feels like two yeah, yeah. different no, films. Sorry. Yeah, the first film, the first film never matters. Yes, yeah, honestly, film. why make it because, then? Because the second film, you have to have, uh, you have to pick up from where the last film left off, and then pay it off. And you, yeah, and you've got to pay it off, make up stuff. It's just, Content. it's just a lot more extra work, isn't it? The second film always like is more anticipatory as well. Like you know, there's always so much more hype. Yeah, but the, but the problem is there are going to be people who go and see it who didn't see the first one, and yeah. they're going like, "What the fuck is going on?" Oh, yup. Yeah. Like, what? Well, who's this Harry Potter guy, and where would he come from? Is Eggers still? Ma- is it Eggers or Astro who's making a Nosferatu? I can't remember. Oh, that's Eggers. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going is... to do it in the same style as the Lighthouse, I believe. That is so sick. Which is yeah, that'll be terrifying if I'm being honest. I think, is it Ari oh I'm gonna ask the same thing. Is Aster or Eggers doing that Norseman? It's like, I've heard that again, at yeah. the moment. Eggers, oh yeah, well, that's Willem got like Willem Defoe. Defoe. Yeah. Defoe, Nicole Kidman and someone else I read. I can't remember who the third one was. They've all been spotted, like Is it like Show in the guard? Uh, is is Northman? Who's a younger one? Is Northman about like a lumberjack or in the woods someone? 
No, it's like more, I... um, Scandinavian. No, I'm thinking about someone else then. I don't know, I'm just... I kind of like... That was the first thing that came to my head when I heard that. Well, it should Cause... be interesting though. Who was the one? A uh, Bjork, that was it. The uh... singer. Oh my god. Bjork. Yeah, what Bjork. an amazing actor. Russ. Yeah, I have no idea how that's going to work. It'll work. They'll make it into something. I got I time. Think. Yeah. <laughs> It'll yeah, I got work time. Oh. How much money have you got? Because we've got Todd Phillips and another DC character that he can use and abuse. Oh, has he? Has he been? Has he asked to do anything else? I've heard that they've like he, no. Like, he's been thinking I, about doing a Joker sequel, right? Uh, there's no, there's no sequel to it, though, is there? You should, yeah, you definitely shouldn't. Because you, but could, like, right, um, the only thing you could do is go hella comic, like a hella comic accurate story now. But this Joker just does not fit the. No, what I mean, like, like, that's the only thing you could do. If the first one was set up a lot more, like if the first one was basically the Killing Joke, then you could go and do something like imagine so, like Dark Knight Returns from Joker's perspective. Like that would be interesting. But they, each so one, do it. If you were to do it right, if you were to do Joker, so this whole big like Joker rebellion is killed off pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, there are some victims, you know, Bruce Wayne's parents kill, blah, 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 blah. But, right, we cut to the future when Batman is around. Yeah. And it's a, it's a different person who basically takes on the Joker name. Because yeah. Because it's, it's famed. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I like mm-hmm. that. That'd be it. That's the Makes only sense. way you could do that. But that is so far removed. Oh, yeah. I mean, the ending like, of Joker is practically like, <gasps> is it all in his head? Like you know, you wouldn't it get doesn't it. Work. Bit. I watched that. I watched it because my parents watched it. I was like stood there watching that bit. And I was like, it doesn't work. See, but like, like the, the, film, the it... fact that they left it open for that, I, I believe, just means like you're not doing a sequel. If you if you do yeah. include it, did it maybe not all happen? That's such a one off thing. You don't you don't do that and if you're doing the franchise, and says, right? And it says the end. Yeah, literally. However, Harley Quinn season two said the end as well. And Harley Quinn has a lot of panels at the fandom yeah. tomorrow. The fandom's interesting. In, um, in less than 24 hours, it's starting. Which and is, it will be on for 24 hours. It isn't on for 24 hours. Uh, it's, the Batman panel is on at 1.30am and it finishes at 2am and that is the last panel. It just repeats. Oh, so they just show it's only so on for an so hour. It's, no, no. So it's six a. Uh, it's six p.m. till oh, sorry, two a.m. Yeah. Oh, okay, and it just shows so, something over and over again. Yeah. That's smart. But there's different. There's different like halls and stuff, so you can watch. You, I'm sort of more interested it. in the Harry Potter one that the sort of that the leaks are about because I just want that game. You know the people yeah. are like there. That's basically. Oh, by the way, a bit of gaming stuff as well on this thing. Uh, I pre-ordered the Avengers game. Stupidly, did you play the beta? I did play the beta. What do you think of it? Um, see, so uh, as IGN would say, it really makes you feel like an Avenger. Like, no, it doesn't. It, it does. does. Have you played what, it? Tom? I've played it today. Yeah. Um, Thor was fun to play as, but yeah. the other characters, I was just a bit like in the A Day mission. It says right, mainly right. I, I did do the next mission with Hulk and Cameron yeah. Khan, but it was so bad. Like the the how linear it was. Yeah. Like the, you know when you take over Iron Man, and right. it's like those you know those missions in like other games where it's yeah, like it's you're, it's you're, in, like, you're, you're in a car, you're in like a jet, yeah. and you could just a Call of Duty like car chase mission, but and you just yeah, it. and it's just like yeah. Luckily, Why? there's not much. When you get to like, actually, I think it's like three hours in, and you know, you can like go online with the other people and stuff. And where you yeah. do like the water ones, it does like you when you get to like fly around and you're not on rails and it's not linear missions. They're like these big hub sort of places. That really does make you feel like an actual like. Yeah, it really makes you feel but, like Captain America. You it's know. like the, also my, the character the character selection was awful, like, man. Because having me and my Hulk, friends, literally me and my Hulk friends, Iron Man. Captain America, uh, no, sorry, not Captain America, Black Widow and Kamala Khan. It's like, I want to play as Thor. Yeah, <laughs> same. He was, like, he, was most, he was the most, like, interesting kind of, like, you throw the hammer, you can angle it to hit people, like, yeah. and you leave it. Back at you. Just... 
you can Captain America had another one. Captain America was good. I like that one. Like you can actually bounce off stuff properly. Like um, yeah, so we all pre-ordered it, and we were talking about who we want to play as for like the online oh, bit, instead of just everyone. And like I said, Thor. My best mate was like Captain America. And then when we we knew obviously the beta wouldn't have them, but you so miss it, especially when like the rinse and repeat oh, yeah. content carries on. And I've like I maxed out Iron Man, who is very very good as well. I can't lie, Iron Man's very fun to play as when you actually get to you know yeah. play as him. Um, but like, oh man, it's just so tragic the fact. And the, my one problem is the the content at the moment. I know it's only the beta, and I know there's going to be more. Oh, there, but if there's it's, some graphics and stuff. Yeah, if it's just like, literally just like rinse and repeat looter shooter rooms, that's yeah. a bit dead. That's a bit dead. You, as do, games go. you know the helicarrier. Very generic. Yeah. Very, Greg, very. Yeah. You know the helicarrier, right? I went on yeah. there. So I got there. Um, you know, you can have a look around. Yeah, you can have a little walk around the broken part. I can have a look around. Some of the doors are open. It's like, wow, two doors are open. Literally. I mean, I've seen it when it looks all good and like proper. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, okay, then. But it's not the nicest thing to play in a beta. When I walked down the stairs, the, the rest of the world, like, in front of me just disappeared. Brilliant. Like loaded in as I walked, but like I turn like a door would open and it'd just be like nothing. Like just oh, like no. far oh. away. So it when renders to... as you walk yeah. into it. There's sometimes like... yeah the visual glitches are yeah. really awkward like that. Like me and my friend tried to match make for the first time and we'd only unlocked Hulk and Kamala Khan at this point. So I was like, right, oh, I'll no. play as Kamala Khan. And he was like, yeah, I'll play as Hulk. So it was like calm. I like tried to try to join his lobby. We joined and it was two Hulks. <laughs> you what? can't like, you can't, you know, double a hero, Greg. It's like one of those where it's like everyone has to be someone separate. And, but oh, the camera no. height was for Kamala Khan. So like I had the full Hulk <laughs> specialities and like everything he can do. But yeah. The camera height was uh, Kamala. And it was a bit of a sticky one. Just on his ass. Yeah, literally. Just like his head and shoulders was just out of the shot. Especially oh. when he jumped and stuff. Oh. But yeah, like, I feel um, it does come across like it's going to be very like the first characters to kind of come in. Like Hawkeye is going to be yeah. a character type. I did like the fact that um, Hawkeye is clearly an Avenger. Yes. And he, he was has- always. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, but I feel like they could have done more than that. Like, they could have had maybe one or two more members. Yeah, was, well, Hank Pym's in and around the sort of. I know, he's, I know he does turn up. It's like, why isn't he like an Avenger? Literally, mm. <laughs> the fact that they call him just Hank Pym as well is kind of annoying. Like, there's, I haven't heard him be referred to in his superhero role, even though we know Ant Man is coming. Yeah, and they can't do Scott Lang because Ant Man sure isn't not. like an old man, really. Yeah. Like and, yeah. and yeah, Hank Pym's maybe like f- late forties. But yeah, they need to do like they need to do uh, some really off the wall characters. Have you seen the leaked like, list? Yeah, it's all MCU stuff. Basically. Like, I was just like, oh wow. I get to play as the MCU characters. A lot Literally. of who, uh, most of whom are copies of other characters. That's like, the thing that was so annoying me. Kate Bishops and like um, Mockingbird. Be, it's just going to be, be just added. like Black Widow. Yeah, they should be added alongside the other heroes. Yeah. Like, oh, here's, here's Spider-Man. War yeah, Machine better be different. Oh yeah, he, he has to have different attacks because they're yeah. like minigun-y. Be better. Like, I hope he has like some sort of hunker down sentry thing. That'd be cool. Like, but honestly, yeah, you're very much right. It's all MCU. It's well, except like Quake, but she was even in uh, Agents of Shield. Like, so yeah, but I mean, Quake is Quake. Even then, it's like that's not really deep dive because like, she's more of like one of the modern Avengers sort of cast. Like, she kind is of annoying. I mean, if she's she was the director of Shield in the comics, oh. like you know. If you've been the director of Shield, like come on, but I don't know, like it's gonna happen. But anyway, I think this is just a discussion for today in gaming. Yeah, it's tough. Just a little update on how it's going because I don't really want to. Yeah. Honestly, my opinion was I played all of Sa- uh, Friday when it came out, and then I all played right, yeah. literally like none of Saturday, none of Sunday. I was like, you know what, this isn't. It's not exactly what I wanted, and it I don't want to like, like a game that's going to be like particularly replayable. No, Greg, it feels like just rinse and repeat of the same mission, like, mm. and it's easy. That's the thing that annoyed me as well. Like, it obviously really makes you feel like an Avenger, but like when I feel like an Avenger, I don't want like I don't mean like Age of Ultron. Every 
enemy is just one of those little Ultron. Oh, and the, you know, on the on the Hulk mission, like um, you know, you're going through yeah, the, fighting. The and I was just like, uh, in the once you're inside the building, I was like, I was fighting them, going along fine, and then he just go like he get hit, and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Yeah, he was, like, they're very like, weak. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yeah. This is the Hulk. Why is the Hulk getting taken down by some little like robot dudes? Yeah, like come on, Black Widow. I can understand. Also, yeah. the task, the Taskmaster fight. My God, what <laughs> awfulness was that? I I luckily watched a video before, but you know the bit when you put, get put on top of the Golden Gate Bridge to fight. I just him, kept like, shooting him. <laughs> yeah, literally. I like, back, if only. Back. Literally, I saw in a video, it took a guy, and I was thinking, this is taking ages when I was watching the video like a couple of weeks before. I was like, this is taking ages. And then one of the developers had to say, aim for the jetpack. And I was yeah, like, I, oh, I, I, I noticed it after bad. a while. Like, it started smoking. I was like, ah. Literally, it's so that was such bad design, wasn't it? I still couldn't aim at it, though. No. The developers it's shouldn't totally have to fun. basically reach out to the fans yeah. and say, listen, you're doing it all wrong. Here's how it's actually meant to be done. Honestly, it was. Oh, it's a bit. It of, oh, I feel like it could be yeah, really bad, it. and now I paid for it. So it's like, well, you know, <laughs> here we go. How much did you pay for it? Did you get like the? I didn't get the special edition, just the pre-order. So it's basically just like you know, normal. You get like some skins, don't you? I think. It is. Yeah, you get a few little. You get like the legacy ones, I think. I yeah, get, like, classic looking ones. They're kind of, the skins are good. I will give him that. Like the, the customization are right. is very cool. Um, I was just yeah. That's the thing. I'm I'm gonna have to replay a day because I'm not sure whether you can click. The like back or whatever on, on the... Thor and Hulk, you can't because yeah. you can't oh. fly as Thor either in the A day, which is kind of weird. That, that's so annoying. I was like, I held you get a and man, it's like whole day. It's like, oh wow, yeah, I can do this now. Literally. Also, the uh, you know the cars. Yes. Just sat there. I was like, I can't be able to hit those into the people, but no, yeah. they're just solid objects, and it's, it's not like a game where I need cover. And oh. It... Dom, it's even worse in like the big like um, war yeah. zone missions because you hit them once and they just like frazzle. Oh no! You can't oh. like. S- I wanted to smack Milner out one and like push it into a wall and like squish people. That would have been sick. But, no, no, nope. Yeah. Jeez. So that's the, but... the promise of what looks to be possibly quite a weirdly maybe bad yeah. game. Maybe bad. But anyway. Yeah, but anyway. What would you give Blues Brothers 2000 out of 10? Fucking tube. <laughs> well, yeah. you've given it higher than I would. I'm giving it... Uh, uh, I, I don't even know if I can give it a 0.5. There you go, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. Greg, what do you think of Blues Brothers 2000? Um, ooh, toughy. Yeah, one. Is it your, is it your second 10 out of 10? <laughs> One. Greg's out That's it. Greg. Do you see what we've done here? We went from a ten out of ten to a a a two, a one, and a zero point five out of ten. Literally, consistency, boys. It's consistency. Exactly. We've well, that'll do for this episode. This is our longest episode so far. Hope they enjoyed. And we haven't even talked right. about the film. <laughs> I've not talked about the film. I, I don't. I have... like to have chats with us, though. I guess so. It's a good insight. I don't know what I'm going to name this video. Yes. Oh, all right. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. I don't know what See the you. Be. <laughs> Go subscribe. See you next time. Oh god. Bye. Bye.